Air sign massive, it's your girl D here from 8th House Energy. Here to bring you your weekend scenario from July 5th, which is Friday, to July 8th, which is Sunday. Happy 4th of July, air sign massive. How could we live without you? How could we live without the air? This is for my uh, Geminis. All right, shout out to my Geminis. Shout out to my Libras. What's up, Libras? And shout out to my Aquariuses. What's going on to my Aqua Mommies and my Aqua Poppies? I hope everybody's enjoying their weekend. Um, I want to thank you guys for coming to the channel and checking out the video. Uh, hopefully it'll resonate with you. If it does, please leave me a message and let me know. I really love to read that because the whole point of this is just to help you guys out, to help us all out. Thank God for tarot and astrology, right? All right, so if you see that this helps someone, share the video with them. Let them know, you know, hey, I got something for you. That's good karma for you to come back to you. All right. Um, just want to uh, let you know, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to do so. Uh, go ahead and click on the bell as well. That way you'll know when I'm going to post and you'll be, um, you know, alerted as soon as I pop the videos up for you. Um, anything that you want to know about the video is going to be listed below, including the music you hear in the background. If you want to get in contact with me for a reading, all that information is going to be listed below. So hit me up if you need me. All right. So, um, again, happy 4th of July. Let's go ahead and get started with your reading. So, uh, I hope you guys are enjoying your, uh, 4th. Hope you guys had, uh, some good barbecue because I did not and I'm a little upset about that, but we got the rest of the summer, so thank God for that. <laughs> I had to work today, but I got double pay, so I'm not going to complain. I can go, you know, I can grill later. Probably do it sometime this weekend and get all that going. But, um, I got to get another AC. I only got one AC. I need two ACs. I'm sure they're going to be ridiculously priced. Trying, I'm not trying. I don't need a big one. I just got a small room. But, uh, yeah, I need one more AC. But, um, yeah, I wanted some barbecue salmon. I wanted some, um, you know, some macaroni salad or some potato salad. And I wanted some sweet corn. I've been telling everybody that all day. That's all <laughs> I want. So, I think I'm going to have to throw that on the grill this weekend and get that in. So, I hope you guys enjoyed your fourth. All right, so if you hear me popping in the background, it's the 4th. I'm recording on the 4th, okay? I closed my windows, you know, I did what I could do, all right? But you may hear some popping around. We're going to do uh, two five-card spreads, all right? So the first card up in this spread is the card that represents the past. The second card represents the present. The third represents the future. The fourth represents the reason why things are going the way they're going. And then the fifth represents the outcome. Overall energy for this reading for my air sign, Massive, is the Fool. All right. Aries, Leo, Sag energy. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sag or have it in your chart. But this represents a brand new beginning. All right. But you got to be careful with this brand new beginning. You got to think about it before you. And you guys are air signs, so you think anyway. All right. You always on your toes thinking. But sometimes the Fool could represent somebody who just jumps out there without thinking. Don't let this be you. <laughs> but other than that, this is positive vibes. The last um, couple of readings I did today, I did the earth signs, I did the water signs, and I did the um, the fire signs, and things wasn't good. So this is positive. So let's see what's up with you guys, all right? So, oh, let's see. Let me just take a look at these cards, and then we'll clarify with the African tarot. This is the gilded tarot, just so you know, all right? Um, so let's see. So in the past, we have the Two of Cups. This is Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Some of you could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, or could have been in the past. And um, it was a love connection. It was definitely something strong. You guys were definitely uh, uh, into each other. All right. And then in the present situation, we have the King of Pentacles. So this is somebody who's ready to put it down and provide, you know, whatever they need to provide for the relationship. Okay. They're willing to put in the work. They're willing to put in the stability, the time, and the effort it needs uh, to get the relationship going. That's the present. That's what's up. All right? Now, the future, we have the high priestess in reverse. Now, when we have the high priestess in reverse, this is somebody not using their intuition. Somebody not using their better judgment. You know, the intuition is blocked. There's no clarity in the situation. We're going to have to clarify that. Now, the reason for this is because... We have the Five of Swords, okay? This is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is your energy, all right? So this is Gemini. So Gemini, what's going on? What is this all about? 
who you one up in? Are you, are you, what's going on? We got to talk about this, okay? We got to talk about that. And then the outcome is we got messages coming. So this is the eight of um, wands, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. All right, this is Sag energy. We got some messages coming in. All right, so yeah, it looks like in the past, you know, things were good. You know, you guys met, you were on the up and up, okay? And the present energy, you know, you guys have stability. Uh, the relationship is what you want. Uh, but in the future, um, somebody's not using their intuition about something because the reason behind it is somebody is, is trying to pull one over somebody's eye. Somebody's doing something that ain't right. All right. And then the outcome is some messages coming in. All right. So let's see why he, what this new beginning means. Is somebody getting cut off? Air sign folk, let's see what y'all up to. So we're clarifying with the African Tarot. shuffle and then I'm going to cut up and then I'm going to clarify. All right, so let's clarify this two of cups because in the past things were beautiful, all right? Beautiful. We got that clarified with the three of cups in reverse. So it looks like, you know, in the past there was a heartbreak, but you met this person and all of that went away, all right? So let's clarify further or maybe, yeah, because this was in the past, okay? So either this person broke your heart in the past or you met this person after coming out of a heartbreak. All right. And we're going to clarify further. Yeah, because you were dealing. This is the king of pentacles in reverse because you were dealing. This is Taurus energy. You were dealing with someone who wasn't, you know, wasn't doing what they were supposed to be doing. There was no follow through with them. And as a result, you left that um, you left that energy behind. All right, so in the present, we got the King of Pentacles in the upright. And this is the man who, this is energy, male energy, masculine energy, okay, because it could be a woman. He or she is doing what they need to do. They provide stability. They um, are making sound decisions without, you know, jumping to conclusions and going crazy. You know, there's somebody who's there for the long haul. So let's clarify. This is somebody who's a business owner. You know, they work hard. They bring in their money. You know, they, they're... Um, Willing to put that work into a relationship. So let's clarify. Or this could be you going on a business venture, trying to get your business off the ground. We got that clarified by the two of swords. Okay, so maybe you were trying to make a decision about something. Well, you're definitely trying to make a decision about something. But we need to find out what it is. So let's clarify. So that two of swords, that's Gemini energy. All right. And we got that clarified by the four of cups in reverse. All right, so with the four of cups in reverse, this is a new outlook, having a new outlook. So you're trying to decide if you're going to have a new outlook on things, if you're going to put in the work to, um, you know, if you're going to have a new outlook or not. But let's clarify this um, high priestess because that's what the future energy is about. And that's in reverse. So somebody's not using their intuition about something. So let's get some clarity on that. And we have that clarified by the, ooh, the ten of swords. All right, and this is you guys' energy. This is sword energy, all right? And with the Ten of Swords, this is somebody who is just stressed out, okay? Too many burdens all in their head with this situation. And we're going to clarify that a little bit further here. And we got that clarified by the Eight of Wands in reverse, more um, air energy, okay? So it looks like thus far you met someone... It looks as though maybe this person broke your heart, okay? They weren't bring, they weren't being thorough. They weren't coming through, um, you know, with stability. They weren't, you know, they weren't following through, all right? And you are deciding on if you are going to continue forward with this person because you got the four cups in reverse here. And this is you basically, you know, looking for a new option. So that could very well be why we got the fool card as the overall energy. You're looking at this situation like, you know what? This is not something that I want to do. And the reason why is because with the future situation here, it looks like um, you or that other person is not going to be using your intuition and you're really going to be fed up with the situation. Okay, you're going to be all in your head, stressed out about this. All right. But you're going to eventually see 
what's going on and you're going to, um, you know, get out of it. Because this is the escape card. Get away from the situation card, okay? So it looks like you're making a decision to just leave. And the reason behind all that is because we got this five of swords. And I don't blame you because I would leave if this was going on too, this type of energy. This is Gemini energy, all right? So either Gemini, you're doing this or somebody's doing this to you. But basically, they're trying to win at all costs, okay? Trying to win at all costs. So let's clarify that. And we got that clarified by the Knight of Cups, all right? So this is somebody who is very intuitive, very loving, doesn't wear their heart on their sleeves, is willing to be very, you know, is a very romantic energy, masculine energy, all right? And um, they're very supportive and they're a leader, okay? And they're very tolerant and uh, empathetic, all right? And so somebody, it looks like somebody's taking advantage of that or they're coming in under the guise of that, but that's not really who they are. Let's clarify to find out. So we got the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so this is Taurus, Virgo, um, Capricorn energy. And with the Page of Pentacles, this is somebody who, this is a new financial uh, situation. Or this could be somebody who is bringing news of, because pages are messengers, bringing news of a new beginning. All right, and then as the outcome, we do have some quick messages coming through. All right, so this is the uh, Eight of Wands. So this is quick messages coming through. All right, this could also be about travel. So let's clarify that and see what's going on with that Eight of Wands. And we got that clarified with the Eight of Cups. Okay, so there's messages coming through that you're out. So you're going to send messages letting them know, I found something new. I'm out. <laughs> That's Scorpio energy. I'm sorry, uh, Pisces energy. No, is it Scorpio? Let me think for a minute. Pisces energy. And we have that further clarified by, yeah, by the Ace of, <laughs> the ace of uh, Swords in reverse. So you're not getting the truth out of this situation or you're not going to tell them the truth. You're just going to dip out. Or this person is not giving you the truth as to why they're acting the way they're acting. And so you're like, you know what? I'm done. I'm on a new beginning. All right. So this is what this is looking like with this spread. Yeah, this person, everything was good in the beginning. And it looks like they all of a sudden they switched up for whatever reason. Um, and with this four of cups in reverse, this is to me, somebody who's just giving you a little bit at a time, you know, or someone who was selfish when it's in the upright, this is somebody who was selfish. So this person was selfish and you were trying to make a decision on if you were going to continue to be there. But it looks like with the high priestess, uh, in reverse, your judgment was clouded. Your intuition was blocked. And as a result, this person got you. Okay. Because they were doing this type of energy. This type of energy all right so yeah and you were like you know what <laughs> this is how you're gonna do things I'm out no new beginning uh, and nobody's being truthful so I'm just gonna leave okay you're not keeping it real you're not being honest nobody's communicating just left all right guys let, let me get another spread for you this is the season I'm telling you everybody's breaking up the universe is just clearing everything out. You know, you got Pluto in retrograde clearing everything out. You know, destroying relationships that no longer serve. You got uh, Saturn in retrograde. Dishing out karma to people who've been doing people dirty. And you got Neptune also in retrograde, which is uh, clearing the illusion from people's eyes. You had the Eight of Wands. I'm sorry, you had the Eight of Swords in reverse. So... You, you got clear on the situation real quick. That's all that was going on. All right, so let's do another spread for you and see what's up. So, yeah, all these planets that are in retrograde. And then Mercury's going in retrograde um, on the 9th, okay? So you may have some X's coming back, so keep that in mind, too. And don't take X's back during the retrograde. The retrograde is going to be from the 9th to the 31st. So if you're really feeling them and you want to take them back, just chill. Be cool. You know, maybe hang out with them every once in the blue, but see how you feel after the retrograde is over. See how they feel. If they still, you know, coming at you like, yeah, I want this, then, you know, and you feel comfortable with it and you want to consider it, then go ahead. But usually with the retrograde, people feel one way, but then after the retrograde is over, they feel another way. So that's why you don't want to just take an X back as soon as, you know, while it's during the retrograde because the energies tend to shift your mind, you know, change your mind about things. So let's do another five-card spread. 
overall energy for this spread is the king of cups in reverse okay so either this is um scorpio pisces i'm sorry scorpio energy okay so you could be dealing with a scorpio or um you could have scorpio in your chart or the person could have scorpio in their chart all right but this is the king of cups in reverse now there's either two scenarios with this either you are the one who is manipulating someone taking advantage of someone um you know, coming under the guise of love, but manipulating, being narcissistic, all right? And you know, you air signs, some of y'all could be like that. Y'all cold-hearted when you, when you, <laughs> when you want to be, you know, because you're about that air. But um, either you're doing this or somebody's doing this to you. This could represent somebody who's uh, verbally abusive, somebody who's physically abusive in a worst-case scenario, and then somebody who has... Um, you know, uh, drug drug problems, usually alcohol with the king of cups, all right? Or this is somebody who's been being taken advantage of emotionally. Somebody is coming to them under the guise of love, taking advantage of them. So let's see what we got here. So with the situation, we got the ten of wands in reverse, okay? So with the ten of wands in reverse, this is a situation where somebody is just like, you know what, this load is lightening up, thank God, this situation is coming to an end. All right, that's Aries, Leo, Sag energy, and that is Sag energy. Here's more Sag energy with the Page of Wands. This is somebody wanting uh, a brand new passionate uh, beginning um, or messages of something, um, you know, very uh, uh, passionate and, and new. This could also represent someone wanting to travel, you know, wanting to just go out into the world and, and uh, see what's going on, Okay. That's the challenge in the situation. So somebody may want to go out and see what's going on. But the guidance is for you to be truthful. You are that person to be truthful with this person. Because here's the Ace of Wands. And that represents the truth coming out. Or somebody communicating the truth. All right. And then the focus of the situation is the Knight of Cups. And this is um, Pisces energy. And with the Knight of Cups, we're looking at a person who is um, very charming. This could be somebody who's coming back to say, I'm sorry as well. Okay. Um, but this is somebody who is interested in, um, you know, making amends and and uh, seeing where things could go. And then the outcome is the Six of Cups. And this represents um, Scorpio energy because some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. All right. So we got two Scorpios on the board. We got uh, uh, two Sages on the board. We got Aries. I'm sorry. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right. And uh, with the uh, Six of Cups, this represents reminiscing about the past, reminiscing about friendships, uh, past lover, um, reminiscing how things used to be with someone. All right, so let's clarify these cards and see what's going on, because basically it looks as though um, you're stressed out about a situation and you're coming to the end of that stress and you're looking to start something brand new, um, but you need to be truthful. Okay, so uh, this is telling me, okay, so this is telling me you're trying to go back to someone in your past you're looking at someone from the past and you're wanting to go back but it looks like you have some truth that you need to share with them you're going to apologize that's the overall energy you're going to apologize so that you can get back to them because maybe you were the one who was not being you were being emotionally abusive or manipulative to this person so let's clarify and see if this because that's what i'm seeing with these cards but let's let's get some details here so air signs for july 5th to july 8th Air signs, July 5th through July 8th. All right, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Let's clarify this Ten of Wands here, all right, in reverse. So it looks like you've been, this has been on your mind. You've been wanting to let this person know how you felt. And we got that clarified by the King of Pentacles. Yeah, because you're ready to come in. And this is Taurus energy. So some of you could be dealing with a Taurus or have it in your chart. Or the person you're dealing with could be a Taurus or have it in their chart. Um, or it's just you, know, you guys, you embodying the energy of bringing stability. You know, wanting to be looked at as someone who is solid, practical. Um, this, this is going to be a wise investment. This is how you want them to look at you. All right. And you're stressed out about that. You know, you must have did some dirt, boy. But this King of Cups is the overall energy. I would think so. But we'll see what's going on with the rest of this spread. We clarify the King of Pentacles with the Lover's Card in reverse. Yeah, so there was definitely some problems. Or 
you may have the option to choose between more than one lover. This is Gemini energy. It could be, in, you know, this is, this is the air sign. This could be the Geminis I'm talking to. All right. Or the person you're dealing with could have Gemini in their chart. All right. So, yeah. So, stress. You coming in, you know, wanting to bring stability, letting them know that, look, I know in the past things weren't right, but I want to make things right. So let's clarify this page of wands because this is what it's looking like. You want a brand new beginning. So that's the challenge. How do we go about getting this brand new beginning? And we clarify that with the Ten of Wands. All right. And with the Ten of Wands, this is Aries, Leo, Sag energy. And this is you just being exhausted. All right. You're just going to let them know, look, you know, I'm tired of, uh, you know, the situation the way that it is. All right. And let's clarify that further. And that's yeah that's sag energy so sag energy clarified by sag energy and we have that clarified with the four of pentacles this is taurus virgo capricorn energy this is capricorn energy so again it could be in your chart you could be dealing with somebody who has cap in their chart but yeah this is you um this is them kind of being guarded about the situation you know um as far as their approach to you you know they're not really sure how to go about it or how you're going to take it they're kind of nervous, all right? They, they're guarding their heart. <laughs> that's funny. All right, so let's clarify this Ace of Swords here because I show that that's the guidance. So, you know, the universe is guiding you to be truthful. So let's clarify that. And we have that clarified by the Eight of Cups in reverse. This is um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. And with the Eight of Cups, we're looking at Pisces. So some of you could have Pisces in your chart or be dealing with someone who has Pisces in their chart. All right, but it looks like you want to come back. All right, you um, or if if this is you or the person you're dealing with, you want to come back. All right, they thought about this, um, they learned from the past. So this is you probably. You learn from the past. You know, you realize what what went wrong. You just need to be truthful. All right, and that's why it's clarified with the Ace of Swords. Tell the truth about the situation. And that's further clarified with the hangman in reverse. Yeah, so with the hangman in reverse, this is um, Neptune energy, okay? So this is, you know, you let them know you were being selfish, you know? And now you're, you're in a situation where you're feeling like the victim because you're burdened by what you did. So you're feeling like, damn, you know, I feel like I, I, I really did this person wrong. You know what I mean? And this is, this is um, a lot of regret, Okay. Um, this is also being selfish. So you were selfish in the past and regretful, okay, uh, about it. So let's see this Knight of Cups. So this looks like this is you coming in to apologize or the person who did this to you coming in to apologize. And we'll clarify that Knight of Cups, which is, um, I believe that's Pisces energy. And we got that clarified with the World card. Yeah, you want to come in, apologize, and start a new beginning, all right? And this is um, the World card is Saturn energy. Saturn rules uh, uh, Scorpio, and, I'm sorry, Saturn rules uh, Capricorn, and it rules Aquarius, all right? So, or this could be Aquarius energy, since this is an air sign read. So, you could be dealing with Aquarius, or somebody who has Aquarius in their chart, or Capricorn. But, yeah, you want to come in and make this right. You want to bring it into, you know, you guys being separate and not together, Alright, and we're going to clarify that. Yeah, because that's Pisces energy for the Knight of Cups. We got that clarified by the King of Wands in reverse. Alright, and that's um, Aries Leo Sag energy. So yeah, with the, Queen, with the King of Wands, that's Leo energy. And with the King of Wands in reverse, this is somebody who was a bully. You know, somebody who um, was weak, basically. Weak-minded in the situation and how they dealt with it. Alright? So, or you could be just very nervous and not sure how to go about righting this wrong, okay? So that could be, it's one of those two scenarios. And now let's clarify the Six of Cups, all right? Because that Scorpio energy could be dealing with a Scorpio or have or, or someone have Scorpio in their chart. Yeah, you want a brand new beginning. Here's the Ace of Pentacles, all right? So you you willing to come in and, um, you know start things anew and you're also willing to come in and combine your resources because you want something you want something stable all right that's a beautiful thing 
And let's clarify that Ace of Pentacles. We got that clarified with the, yeah. Six of Cups, clarifying the Six of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Oh, I dropped the card. Hold on. That's what's up, air sign. Let me get this card. I was about to show you. All right, yeah. So we have the outcome being the Six of Cups. We got that clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. And we got that further clarified by the Six of Cups. So yes, you are definitely ready to reach back out to someone uh, from the past. Uh, you are remorseful in how you handled the situation. It looks as though you're just going to, the universe is guiding you to, if you're going to go back to this person or if you're even going to bring, you know, this energy back to this person, you know, or come back to them because of the way that you left the situation, you need to come back with the truth. And you need to come back with an apology. And you need to be in your power. You need to get, you know, this needs to be in reverse. You need to be in your power. All right. And it looks like things may turn out in your favor if you come out, you know, but just keep in mind, it may not take you back right away. <laughs> but don't be on no dirtiness. And, you know, if you're coming back trying to manipulate, you're going to be good, you know, until retro season, retrograde season is over. And then you're going to act up. But, like, don't do that because we know how y'all are with the mental. So if you're going to come back into this person's life, just remember this is how you left them. All right. And I know this is how you feel about it, but for real, you just got to come with the truth. All right, my air sign massive. I love you guys. I hope you guys had a great holiday and I will catch you in a few. All right. And I wish you well on that if that's definitely something that you want and you're sincere about that because a lot of people are breaking up. So it's nice to do a reading where somebody is trying to get back together with someone. So I wish you well with that. I love you, air massive. Peace out.